hi guys this is fancy stitches and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to take you guys through on how to make this beautiful handkerchief flare dress it's going to be a full detailed tutorial and also is a requested video by you guys so guys if you're interested to learn how to make this beautiful dress then you have to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so guys i will be using this beautiful vintage material to make handkerchief flare dress and this is about three years of my material and here this is how i fold my material i'm folding my material into four because i'm cutting both the front and the back half length of my handkerchief flare dress so i'll be cutting the upper part this is for the front and here is for the back it's going to have a zipper so here i left about one and a half inch for my zipper allowance i left about one and a half inch for my zipper allowance then the next thing i will do here is to measure out my half length half length which is 15 inches but i'll be making use of 15 and a half inches so i'll mark 15 and a half inches so after marking my 15 and a half inches the next thing i will do is to cut it out then this is the piece that i will be using okay because this is a cut together with sleeve my shoulder measurement which is 16 inches divided by 2 will give me 8 inches then what is remaining here is 6 inches the neckline width i'm going to make use i'm going to make use of six and a half inches because i want mine to fell off very well then for the length is going to be three inches i will use three inches for the length so i went ahead to use freehand to curve my neckline this is cut together with sleeve so for the shoulder slope i'm going to come down here by one inch then i will connect it to my neckline from shoulder to my bust 9 inches on the bust 12 and a half inches and my waist so i'm going to mark my bust circumference which is 36 divided by divided by 4 will give me 9 inches so i'll mark my 9 inches here and also put my two inches allowance then for the waist circumference which is my waist circumference is 30 inches divided by four it's going to give me seven and a half inches then i'm also going to insert my sewing allowance of two inches but before okay i'm going to connect the lines To mark the sleeve length from the shoulder slope point i went down by eight inches and mark my point then from my sleeve length i went in by two inches and after that i connected it to the waist line then i went ahead to cut it out So guys, this is all for the upper part, as you guys can see. The front and the back neckline is the same in the case of this type of dress that I am making. So and I'm going to insert my dart, ok? 
okay let me show you guys how i'm going to insert my dart using my boss palm which is eight inches divided my boss palm measurement is eight inches divided by four we give me sorry divided by two we give me four inches so here because so here is four inches but i'm going to add my sewing allowance of half an inch so this is my four and half inches then i'm I'm going to go up by four inches. So here is my four inches. I'm also going to take the same measurement of four and a half inches. So you guys can see that it's okay. Then from this side, I'm going to take half an inch. This side again, I'm going to take half an inch, then connect it. To this point to this point as well so I'm going to give this part this center part a notch so so that it will guide me on how to attach the that for both the front and the back I'll do the same for both this front and the back and that is all for the for the front for the upper but if I open it up, this is how it looks like. For the handkerchief lay, I folded my material into a square shape like I usually do. And I'm going to use my waist measurement to cut out this flay. Then my waist measurement, which is 30 inches plus 2 inches plus four inches and that four inches my zipper allowance is there and also my sewing allowance is there make plus four inches zipper and sewing allowance will make it 34 inches divided by 6.28 that is 34 inches divided by 6.28 will give me 5.41 then it doesn't have uh, 5.41 so I'll be using five inch to cut out this flip. So I'll first of all mark my five inch. After marking my five inch, then I will subtract my half length, which is 15 inches and measure up. Here is 34 inches. That sorry, here is that five inches. So I'll be going with that 35 inches. So here I'll also use the same 35 inches, which I will use for my dress length. I'll cut this out now. And then I'm sorry, guys, I didn't know that the camera wasn't capturing everything. I'm so sorry about that. After cutting, this is what I will have for my handkerchief flay. This is what I will have. So I'll open up one side. So guys, this is what I will have. Hope you guys can see that. This is what I will have after cutting it. This is what I will have. To cut the facing of my handkerchief lay dress, I'm going to get my pieces. These are uh, pieces, so I'm going to fold it like this into two, like this. Make sure the edges here are equal. Then, after that, you fold your fabric. This is the neckline of my dress, then place it exactly like this this is a simple way to cut out facing your dress facing also make sure you, that you arrange your neckline very well so that there won't be any errors on then after that use your chalk or whatever you have and trace it out 
for the facing shoulder slope it depends on the inches you want to use i'll be using three inch three inch facing so i'll mark my three inches then also trace it and the next thing is to remove my half length and cut it out then for the facing i went ahead to give mine a curve and if you want to cut yours you can as well mark three inches or above and also trace it and cut it out then mine i just traced it because the my pieces is not enough so i will be using it like that that is why i trace it the way i did and i'm cutting it out now so guys this is the facing of my dress let me open it up So this is the facing. I'll place it just like this. Then I will now take it to my sewing machine and use half an inch to sew it. I will do the same for the back as well. This is the back. I will also cut out the facing. Exactly the way I did this. The front part. So guys, I'm done with attaching my cape my neckline cape look at it my hemming gum is not available i would have also applied my hemming gum to it and also i've gone ahead to iron it after that i also joined my shoulder shoulder to sleeve look at it i've joined it this is the back also this is my dad for the back I used my pin to hold the zipper allowance. This is the dart for the back. Also for the neckline, you can see that. Then the next thing that I will do here is to attach my sleeve cape. So I've turned the front part. This is it. Is to attach the sleeve cape. And to attach this sleeve cape, went ahead and cut out five inches five inches width of of my fabric look at it just straight five inches width and 60 inches long i know that uh, it will serve for both the both sleeves so to attach it to your to attach the cape you have to fold it and unfold is two and a half inches so you have to fold your five inches width and you place your material this one like this just facing the outer part like this you now sew it just like this you see the rough edge is facing the outer part then after sewing it so guys i went ahead to stitch it up on my sewing machine and after that this is what i have so that you guys will be able to understand what i'm trying to explain this is what i have this is the rough part of my fabric and this is the front part the back and the front the next thing that you are going to do here is to take it to your pressing iron and press it give it a press then after that you have something like this this is what you will have for the sleeve okay this is what you are going to have after pressing it then while pressing or while ironing it you can as well you can as well use your hemming gum to hold it so that it won't be falling out you know so this is how to attach your sleeve cape okay then i'll do this i'll also attach my sleeve cape to the other sleeve and mark my body measurement and shape it down 
I'm going to shape it. After shaping, I will then attach my attach the handkerchief flay to this. So now I will take this to my sewing machine and attach the other part. Then while sewing, also remember this is how it's going to be your sleeve while shaping while marking your body measurement and shaping your dress this is how it's going to be the rough edge supposed to be at the right side so this is how it's going to be then you now shape then the next thing is to attach my zipper as you guys can see is to attach the zipper and that will be all don't forget to subscribe to this channel so guys after shaping my dress i turned it over this is what i have you can see that this is the sleeve cape this is the sleeve cape this is what i have so i will attach my flay my handkerchief flay to this then after that i'm also going to insert my zipper to it you can see how beautiful it is so this is what i have though i haven't ironed it but this is what i have how beautiful is looking so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell to get more of my videos like comment and share so guys this is the end result of my handkerchief flay dress i've gone ahead to fix both my zipper and my flay and this is what i have